Welcome back to, um, to our mornings um, on today, Friday. Um, basically, I'm delighted to be joined um, this morning by Felicity Corbin Wheeler. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Not at all stressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny you say that, <laughs> um, because today's, um, today's subject that we're going to be discussing is handling stress through nutrition. That's right. So I would first of all like to start and just advise our viewers, if you'd like to um, just send in your emails, please, uh, to info at revelationtv.com. Um, we'll be delighted to answer your questions through this particular segment of our mornings. So Felicity, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I will. Um, I've had a lot of emails from people who are saying they're suffering from stress, anxiety, depression in these difficult times. Um, when we listen to the news, of course, we see what's going on. And also people suffering from insomnia. And so I thought this morning we'd dedicate it to stress and how we handle it. And nutrition is huge in stress, it really is. We can do amazing things to, um, to alleviate stress with yeah. that. And um, in fact, a handful of cashew nuts, I was taught when I was training, is the equivalent of a dose of Prozac without the side effects. Wow. But I will do a caveat immediately that if anyone is on medication at the moment, do not come off without consulting your own doctor one-to-one. -one. And as you build up your resilience with the good nutrition, you'll probably be able to ease off things, but never, never do it and say, Felicity or Revelation told you, because it's very important that people come off very gently with someone who knows them. Yes. So um, it's, uh, it is possible, though, and I've seen amazing things happen with uh, people getting on the decent diet with the wheat grass, as I was talking about the other week, yes. and um, also the um, magnesium. We're all short of magnesium. So when we start taking magnesium, the body relaxes. It's a very good way of going to sleep at night, actually. Um, this is a little spray. Now, this is interesting. This is spray a, a dermal one that you put on the skin instead of taking all those supplements and pills. So this comes from just an ordinary high street um, health shop and you put it on the skin and it just goes in after your bath at night and it completely relaxes you. Wow. And it's used in uh, intensive care as well as a very quick way if someone's having a heart attack, very quick way of getting magnesium into them which, um, which relaxes the body wow. so very interesting and I, I just think stress is, stress is something I, I believe that we all kind of at some point we all go through so I think absolutely our viewers I think will really benefit from watching today's program and Felicity's I believe is going to go through some tips and advice to recommend what she she would be to the best way to deal with stress um, I'd like to remind our viewers as well please do send your emails um, email address is on screen at the moment it's live at revelationtv.com and also the text numbers on screen as well. So please do send in your emails and texts and we'll be delighted to ask Felicity any of the questions that you do may have. Mm, super. One of the things that's really interesting to remember is that we can only absorb organic uh, plant food. When you think about magnesium or some of the other minerals, um, when you buy... Um, the, the minerals from a health food shop and it just comes from the plain rocks. In fact, it passes right through the body. You spend a lot of money on it. It has to be organic. Now, the idea is that the plant takes the goodness from the rock and it transforms it in the plant life, which we then eat into something that we can assimilate. So that's, you know, that's really interesting. That's a big breakthrough because a lot of people are spending money quite a lot of money on supplements that in fact are going straight through them. How much is nutrition um, related to stress and how can it help? Oh, it's huge, so si. it really is, because with our diet now, our uh, processed foods and particularly so much animal protein, um, people are not getting the right, um, the right goodness in there, the vitamins and the minerals that, that we need to um, really balance our bodies so um, there are a few things that, that are very good. Um, multi everyone should be on it, I think, nowadays, because our food and the soil is so deficient that we used not to need supplements, but I think nowadays we do. 
Um, so I would say a good multivitamin and mineral, um, that's the sort of basic. And then good B vitamins, a broadband one to cover everything. Um, magnesium, yes. COQ10, which I expect, have you heard of COQ10? No, it's not It's coenzyme Q10. Okay, yeah. And it actually helps the memory and the alertness. Oh, wow. And a lot of people doing exams, for instance, when my son was doing his law finals, yes. he said, Mom, I'm getting so tired, you know, I don't know what I've read. And, um, it's amazing how much, um, how much stress can, can really um, affect your memory yes. um, and the way that your, your mind works and everything. And I think the way that we all need to kind of live our lives, as long as we're in peace, as long as our mind is in peace, mm. then we can do the work that we need to do. That's right. And as Christians, we have the Lord in our lives, exactly. which is huge. Exactly. And that takes the stress away. It's, it's wonderful it's being a able small, to... It's a small prayer that I say every day in the morning with my family is, right. Lord, today I just ask you just to give me peace, mm. that I can do my work to the best I can possibly do. Yes. But I just give me peace in my head to do it. Right. Well, you see? And as long as... It's, it's an amazing thing being a Christian, having God in your life, yeah. that you know he's like your best friend. You can Absolutely. always talk to him. You can give your worries and your problems and any questions you might have. You just leave it in his hands and you know he's dealing with it. That's the kind of relationship yes. that we have as Christians. So it's not a religion, it's a relationship. Exactly. And how wonderful it is. He's always with us and it's uh, such, it's, it just de-stresses your life. But with our food, um, some of the things that are very good are choline, inositol, melatonin and dopamine, and I'm just going to run through the foods that we get those from. With the choline, we get that in peppers, you know, the red, green, and yellow peppers, uh, carrots, the seaweeds like nori, um, and egg yolk. If you're going to have an animal protein, the egg yolk is better than having meat, fish, and chicken because it doesn't have the additives that have gone through uh, the, the meat when it was being uh, you know, it was, it was in the fields and um, then when it's prepared. Um, so that's for the choline. And inositol, which is the brain's Valium. And we get that in beans and melons and seeds. So I don't know if you remember, I dehydrated those lovely seeds. We've talked about yes. that. And so if you soak the seeds to take off the aflatoxins, that's a word to conjure with, but the aflatoxins are the outside of the seeds that are quite poisonous and so that's why some people are allergic to them so when you soak those overnight and then you drain them off uh, put them in the dehydrator which is just like an airing cupboard really with then a box um, i salt mine with the himalayan sea salt or with curry powder i mean you can do all kinds of lovely things and um, so that's the best way to take in the nuts and the seeds um, melatonin is a wonderful thing for helping us sleep. And when I was down at, um, in the Mexican um, cancer hospital, the Oasis of Hope, Dr. Contreras gives people melatonin for sleeping. Also, when you're adjusting after, a, after jet lag, it will get you to sleep because it increases. It makes the body feel that it's getting dark outside, so the body naturally starts to settle to go to sleep. And for melatonin, we go for oats, that's our porridge, ginger, brown rice, mm. and turkey. Now, although turkey's not really on my Genesis diet, as you know, um, we all go to sleep after our Christmas lunch, don't we, when we've had that's turkey. Yeah. And it's not bad to have the odd, you know, feast. This is part of the biblical now, thing. My, my mother, Barbara, keeps re reminding me, what is it you say? You say 80% good? 80% good. I mean, this is for people who are just well, basically, and trying to lose a little weight or yes. um, just generally improve their health. If people are really ill, say cancer or diabetes, yes. then they have to be radical. Exactly. So you do 100% or 95%, yeah. um, you know, just to be um, kind to yourself. Yes. But when you add the good things, you gradually don't want the baddies. Uh, you know that's absolutely right. You you kind of, when you become your mind becomes accustomed to eating the good food, um, eating good nutrition, vegetables, fruits. Mm. Um, you kind of you don't want to even look at mm. the na the naughty food, shall we yeah. say, the crisps. You just don't get that 
taste for it. But the more that you yeah. would normally eat chocolates and crisps and any mm. bad food, the more you want it. Is that right? Well, that's right. The taste buds refine. Um, it's the salt, the fat, and the sugar. Sugar, particularly, is a real killer, as you know. Yes. But all these things, the choline, the inositol, the melatonin, and the dopamine, are all in the vegan diet, apart from the, the egg yolk. So basically, we're not going um, away from the diet, which, of course, has healed me and healed so many people. The, um, the magnesium also helps to produce serotonin in the body. You know, that's why we all like chocolate, because um, chocolate's got some serotonin in it. Um, but, you know, there are wonderful ways of um, having the magnesium. It's inexpensive. They say, the doctors say that, in fact, there's about 70 to 80 percent of us are short of magnesium. So if people are only going to buy one thing, I would say, go for the magnesium. It really will make you feel so much better. So, of course, the dark green leafy vegetables are full of magnesium. And the beans, the nuts, the bananas, avocados, broccoli, and even dates. So there's lots to choose from. And Hallelujah Acres and, and uh, Hippocrates Health Institute, where I trained, have tested people over the years, over 50 years, on the Genesis diet, and found that their magnesium levels as vegans are absolutely adequate. Um, vegans are no more deficient in B12 either than uh, those who eat meat because a lot of people, including doctors, will say, uh, you know, you've got to have meat to, um, to get your B12. Yes. But it's not, not necessary. And in your opinion, how important is um, eating things like nuts and seeds? Well, they're a wonderful protein. They're, they're the, the protein that God designed for us to, to have. And when you prepare them with a the dehydrator, you soak them and, and dry them in the dehydrator, you know, they're not going to cause any allergies, which well, is great. It's funny you say that because our quick, quick paced guys in the back room um, have prepared and they have a video, I believe, right. of, of you preparing the nuts and seeds. Oh, my goodness. So um, when the guys in the back are ready, we'll, we'll go to this video. OK. okay. So having shown you the lovely flaxseed crackers, I'm now going to show you how you can really eat these beautiful seeds and nuts in a really healthy way. And um, we have almonds here. We have walnuts, which look like a little tiny brain. It's amazing. And they are actually brain food. So there we go. We need to have those. And we need to have the hazelnuts as well. All these nuts and seeds have got special things inside. And when we put them all together, they are just brilliant. By soaking them and then putting them in the dehydrator, we actually take off the poisonous coating, the aflatoxins it's called. And the aflatoxins are uh, there to protect them from the birds so that we can actually eat them and they're much more digestible. Some people, as you know, are allergic to nuts. Uh, it's very often because they're allergic to the aflatoxins. So I'm going to take these beautiful almonds and I'm going to rinse them off. And then I'm going to spread them, right? I'm going to spread them on the dehydrator, like that. And I'm going to add a little bit of Celtic sea salt because I like to have salted nuts, but these are healthy salted nuts, and the, um, the refined salt, as you know, is bad for us, but this is great. So now I'm going to do the walnuts. There we go, there's our brain food. very very informative um, for our viewers there from Dr Felicity um, 
now in relation to nuts and seeds how would how would you recommend our viewers um, to to eat that would they would you recommend maybe to add the nuts and seeds into their normal um, diet and then progress to its own or what would you recommend well they're lovely as a snack and so if you're coming out you know you're working through lunch it's such a good idea to, to just have them in a Tupperware box and uh, I carry them in the car as well when I'm doing my long drives um, then I've always got something healthy to eat because otherwise you go out you know you, go, you stop at the roadside cafe and you have the most awful <laughs> food so I'd much rather have my my food that I prepared with me and then you incorporate it and as the family start enjoying these things because children love these and um, you know eventually the family don't want the meat they'd rather have the, the nuts which is a better protein excellent mm. um, now as we're on the subject of nutrition um, I believe we have a clip that's um, that's ready um, and it's basically going through the 10 steps um, to de-stress so let's take a look at that we'll just be back with you shortly after the clip Today we're going to talk about stress and how it's such a major part of people's lifestyle today and how you can combat stress. Stress can cause people to have low moods, it can cause anxiety and it can cause weight gain and today we're going to really look at how you can combat stress. You can really see the amazing benefits of de-stressing by following a good exercise program and a good nutrition program. I think a great place to start Ben would be going through the top 10 tips so viewers can have 10 really easy to follow nutrition tips they could put into their lifestyle. So let's talk about nutrition and our top 10 tips. My number one tip that really springs to mind straight away is cutting down on refined sugar and even to the point where I'll get clients and when I'm speaking to friends and family members to maybe even eliminate sugar. The main reason is because sugar can really increase your stress hormones and you don't really need sugar in your diet. It's something your body doesn't require. And the major drawbacks of sugar is weight gain. Um, it'll increase your stress levels. It can cause mood swings by giving you a high energy boost. Then you'll feel really depleted and exhausted afterwards. We're eating a lot of sugar today. It's fast food, junk food, sugary sweets, sugary snacks. And we don't need sugar. Your body doesn't need sugar, it's not a macronutrient that your body needs and that's my number one tip. My number two tip is to cut down on refined carbohydrates. An imbalance of carbohydrates from grains and potatoes compared to fresh vegetables can lead to an increased insulin response which causes fat storage. Change these foods to foods high in protein, vegetables and fruit. My third tip is to cut out caffeine and any caffeine related products. Uh, my reason behind this is because caffeine can really get people stressed um, cause anxiety and it basically restricts the natural chemical that your body produces called adenosine which basically helps calm the body so if you're putting products drinks in even chocolate into your body that restricts that chemical it's going to put you in a stress state which is what you don't want so definitely cut out caffeine colas green teas especially coffee and tea and you really see your stress levels drop as soon as you do that tip number four Eat six to seven small healthy meals a day. This will enable your body to have constant energy production rather than ebb and flow. My top tip number five is to prepare all your meals in Tupperware boxes. So basically if you're going to work, if you're out and about on a day trip, you've basically got food accessible, easily accessible, because the, the major problem is that people use the excuse of I didn't have anything there so I had to resort to going to a shop and buying a snack and usually most of the snacks in shops are going to be crisps, chocolate, unhealthy sandwiches. So if you can put some effort in, in the evening, prepare your food in say Tupperware boxes or a brown paper bag such as chopped vegetables and maybe take some dips with you, um, some fruit and some healthy carbohydrates such as rye vitas or oat cakes have all this prepared and then you can fuel yourself throughout the day and you really won't get those energy dips and highs which causes stress you'll be feeling vitalized fresh and full of energy tip number six cut down on dairy my number seven tip is to meet your sugar cravings by eating berries and fruit what i mean by that is when you're trying to cut down and change your nutrition and diet you may get a lot of cravings and your body and mind will feel like you really want something sweet. 
So to stop that, have some berries, so some blueberries, some strawberries, some raspberries, and maybe a bit of chopped banana or apple, apple as well. And I would recommend only having two portions per day. So basically, getting cravings, resort to some berries and some fruit. Tip number eight, change sugary drinks to water, herb tea, or lemon water. My tip number nine is to cut down on anything wheat-based, so any white bread, um, even brown bread, past those sort of wheat-based and simple carbohydrates, I would change with lentils, um, sweet potatoes, uh, brown rice, and basically you're getting much more nutrients in those complex carbohydrates than your simple sugar carbohydrates, which again are going to give you a short energy burst, but feel, make you feel stressed afterwards. So definitely change simple carbohydrates to more complex sources. Number 10. Use cinnamon to flavour foods instead of sugar. So Precision Life's top 10 tips to reduce your stress levels by using nutrition are number one, reduce sugar. Number two, reduce refined carbohydrates. Number three, remove caffeine and caffeine related products. Number four, eat six to seven small healthy meals a day. Number five, prepare your healthy meals in lunch boxes. Number six, cut down on dairy. Number seven, manage your sugar cravings by changing to fruit and berries. Number eight, drink more water. Number nine, reduce anything wheat-based in your diet. And number ten, to flavor your food, use cinnamon. We've just talked about nutrition and how that can help you really de-stress yourself and your lifestyle. The other component is exercise and how an exercise program can help you de-stress as well. Hi, welcome back to our mornings. Um, what a fantastic video that was. Um, basically going through the 10 steps to de-stress um, yourself um, through nutrition. Um, and perhaps we can just maybe just cover some of those mm. processes. Um, yes. Let's start off with number one, um, yeah. cut down on sugar. Mm. What are your thoughts on that? Absolutely, because that destroys the immune system when we've had sugar. You know, if you have a tonic water, for instance, there's eight teaspoons of sugar in there. And it's all the hidden sugars. It's not that we go into the store cupboard and have a teaspoon of sugar. We're actually having it in all the processed food. So it's the hidden things that are the real danger, and that's why people have this obesity and, and diabetes, and, and of course that leads to heart disease and all kinds of other things. Excellent. Yeah. And, um, and number two was to eat more vegetables and fruits. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's the cleanest food. It's the, the food that God told us to eat. And, I mean, if you can get organic, wonderful. If you can't, then just go for the best that you can. Um, number three was to reduce on caffeine, which is a cause mm. of anxiety. Absolutely. People are so hyper on, uh, on coffee. And, I mean, I do know I was addicted to cappuccinos when I was working very hard all day long and just kept going on cappuccino after cappuccino because <laughs> it was easy to do. It was in this neat little pack, you know, yes. and you just mixed it with hot water and stirred it up. And, my goodness me, it was full of chemicals and it was... You know, well, I got pancreatic cancer, yeah. and coffee is well known for that. Uh, also, coffee, of course, destroys your sleep. It dehydrates the body, so you end up getting thicker blood because you haven't got enough water content and um, slows down the digestion. Nothing works if we're not well hydrated. Now, number four and five, um, yeah. they kind of relate to one another in a way because... Number four is eat smaller meals through the day. Yes. And number five is to try and prepare your food in advance. Yes. That way you don't become hungry and then you eat one huge meal at the, uh, in the mm. evening, for example. Mm. If you have smaller portions of food through the day, yeah. you prepare your food, like they said in the video, into small containers. That way you're more organised and you're eating healthy. Would you agree? Well, that's exactly what I do now. I graze, they say. That's the fun word for it. You graze instead of having three main meals. It's much cheaper that way as well. Yes. I mean, now I'm in my little flat. You know, I can just graze on my, my lovely things I've got there. I don't have a full store cupboard, but um, I've got some lovely fresh vegetables and fruit, and I've got my juicer going, so I'm a happy girl. Excellent. Yes. 
Um, step number six is to reduce on dairy. Yes. Dairy is, Dr. Brian Clement said, the worst for causing cancer yeah. and general bad health. And, you know, I was brought up with seeing these advertisements on the underground, drink a pint of milk a day, yeah. with this gorgeous model, Zoe, somebody. She was very pretty and blonde and beautiful. And I sort of thought, gosh, one day I'm going to be like that, you know, drink my milk up. And in fact, we're just poisoning ourselves. We are, indeed. Um, number seven is substitute your cravings with fruit. Now, it's like we, we mentioned as well with, with the seeds mm. and the nuts. That, mm. kind of, that, that just kind of keeps you going Mm. till your next meal so to speak mm. and it's probably a very practical solution as well something that we can all put an apple or a banana or an orange yes. in our bags that's convenient it doesn't yes. take time to prepare yes would you agree and something that's very good is frozen berries mm. you can get blackberries blueberries and just keep them in the freezer take a few out at a time I, I buy them in a really big carton because it's cheaper that way and um, then I just take a few out at a time and I can also flavour the ice cream, you know, the banana ice cream that's got no sugar, no dairy. So uh, they're a useful thing to have in the freezer. Excellent. Yeah. Now, num step number eight is to drink more water. Yeah. Ideally, in your opinion, what is the ideal amount of water that we should be drinking a day? We should have two litres. And you remember my tip, I have my vitamin C in the water. I normally have two big litres a day. And that, then I know, because I've measured it, I know that I've had two litres. And um, that has really rehydrated me. So this morning, the first thing I do, wake up, is uh, drink my, I drink a whole lot to just get me going. Because yeah. we've all dehydrated in the night a bit. So it's great. Excellent. Now, step number nine mm. is to reduce bread and wheat. And mm. to try and eat more lentils and brown rice. Mm. Well, people are so allergic to wheat. And this is where there's always a confusion with wheatgrass. You know, I had an email this morning. Um, when does it actually become um, wheat and become dangerous and I'm allergic to it? And the thing is, when it's growing fresh, it's perfect and it doesn't have, it hasn't seeded and it doesn't have the gluten and the gliadin in it. But um, as soon as it has, it's seeded and then it's made into the flour products, then it starts to do damage in the body. Yeah. Excellent. And finally, the final step was cinnamon rather than sugar. Yeah, well, the cinnamon's a lovely flavour. You know, it's time we got back to the spices and spiced up our lives. Um, the cinnamon is really good as a little flavouring, say, with porridge. And it's also very slimming and lowers the blood pressure. So it's a very good thing to do. Right. Yeah. Well, I think, thank you so much for going through those 10 points. Mm. Um, I hope they were informative for our viewers, and I would like to remind our viewers to please do send in you any questions that you might have for Dr. Felicity. Our email is live at revelationtv.com, and our text numbers are on screen at the moment. I'm just going to quickly go through some emails that we've received right. so far. Can I just show this is my blessing i just recorded this it's a cd and for people who are stressed i know there's a lot of people who've been asking me for something like this they can listen to and this actually goes right through the detox and uh, i play it every night as i'm going to sleep at night and i play it in the morning it's you know a lovely biblical um a biblical study of the detox right the way through and you meet jesus on the shores of galilee um, you you uh, learn about the holy filling of the Holy Spirit with uh, all the lovely fruits of the Holy Spirit, the love, joy, peace, patience, wonderful. And then we come out with the armor of God, so we put on our helmet of salvation. So that's, because a lot of people are stressed at night, that is the worst time when you do feel really stressed and perhaps you can't sleep with all that's going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to have the diet and have everything put together to de-stress ourselves. And I'd also like to advise our viewers as well to um, feel free to log on to Felicity's website um, where you will also receive all the information um, on various health um, and nutrition ideas as well. Is yeah. that correct? Yes. Lots of free information there. Excellent. Mm. Thank you so much. Um, now let's go through some emails. Um, Felicity, I lost an ovary in 2009 in surgery. Um, and I was told then that the ovary I've left is very small. 
Um, I'm, I'm now 44 and I'm told that the ovary is failing my FSH levels um, and I've, they are very low and I've been told my oestrogen levels are normal. Can you give advice on what I could take? Well, what she needs to do really is just build up generally the immune system. And um, there, for, for hormonal things, there is the progesterone cream that she would find very useful. And you can get that on the internet. Fantastic. Um, and I just once again like to remind our viewers that this, the emails, um, emails and text numbers are on screen at the moment. Um, I believe we've covered some of this subject. Uh, let me just see. Let me tell you about curry. That's a wonderful That's thing. Curry is the most, it's a great, um, great cancer treatment because it has cumin, turmeric, and um, in fact, one of the top doctors who's on my course, you know, giving his lectures, he says that actually cumin is, is a chemotherapy. It really does kill cancer. Wow. So I have a curry with vegetables. I don't do anything else but just curried vegetables with some lovely brown rice, lots of garlic and onions. And um, I do that every week. I do that if I'm having a little party for friends because everyone loves curry. <laughs> Um, well, um, we've, we, we've come to the end to our, of our section at the moment, so um, thank you so much, Felicity, for joining us today Great on pleasure. our mornings. Um, it really has been informative for me personally, and I'm, I'm sure yeah. it has for the rest of our viewers as well. Yeah. Um, we're going to go now to, um, after our segment, we're going to go to um, Howard and Leslie, um, and basically we're going to finish off now with a video on green juice. This right. is a video that you had produced for us. Oh, lovely. Um, and so I'd just like to advise our viewers to please get your pens and papers ready and hopefully you can take your notes. Thank you for joining us and God bless. God bless. Hello, I'm Felicity Corbyn Wheeler and welcome to Howard and Leslie's Kitchen here in Spain. And we're going to make you some green juice to start with. So here we go, we're going to start with some cucumbers. Cut them in half to get them into this beautiful champion juicer. And away we go with the machine. So this is what you would be having if you were at Hippocrates for a week and you were really detoxing the cucumber juice, it's probably the basis, it's full of lutein and it's really good for detoxing the body. We're now going to add some celery, so here we go, again just get it the right size of getting down the champion and away we go. And you'll notice I've put a plastic bag there to catch the actual pulp and the juice is going into a separate container and this makes it much easier to digest into our bodies. Now the next thing we're going to add is some beautiful fresh spinach. So we'll pop that down. And a bit of spinach. Very good Popeye stuff. And the next thing will be some parsley. There we go. Now we're going to put a little bit of broccoli. beautiful avocado, which we're going to cut, twist open, cut it again. Take out the 
stone, which you can then put in the garden and grow some more avocado trees. We'll finish with a little spring onion. So that's made our green juice. Right, so here is our beautiful green juice, absolutely full of lutein and good things. Now, if I had put carrot or the red pepper in that, it would have ended up brown, which doesn't look terribly nice, although, of course, we all like hot chocolate and other brown drinks, like the unmentionable coffee. But here we go with lovely green juice. That's great. <laughs> 